Hi, I just wanted to record something before I forgot. Um, went on a road trip, which was pretty cool, 1,600 miles in like three days. It was a lot of, a lot of driving, a lot of driving. So um, during the trip, I was asking people if they wanted to get healed and had lots of different responses. Um, the only person that I saw get healed on the trip was uh, one of the park rangers. Um, and that was cool. Their, her wrist was hurting here, and so I prayed for it, and it got better. And then I went to the bathroom, and then I came back. I said, hey, how's it still feel? She's like, feels great. So praise Jesus. Super cool. Um, <clears throat> and then just went to a worship. And uh, um, at the worship, there was a lady... I just forgot her name. Totally just left my... Katrina? For the... I th uh oh I don't remember what her name was. Uh, anyways. So, she went up to the front to ask for prayer. And I was like, I'm going to wait around to see if anybody, need, anybody needs healing. She pointed her foot. The guy was there asking to pray f to... to he was about to pray for it. And I was like, hey, you guys praying for healing? And um, <clears throat> he said, yeah. So I, we got to pray. We prayed a couple of times. Pain went down a little bit. And um, he left to go pray for somebody else and just kept praying. And and um, the Lord healed her. And it was awesome. And so we tested it quite a few times. Even had her like get up on like the edge of her toe to stand on top of it. And the first time we did that it hurt again so we prayed some more and then we did it again we just kept hitting it and kept hitting it and hitting it and um so the lord healed her and like she stood on her toe and then like did this like running jumping motion and it was awesome so the lord is our healer and um be determined to not stop until the enemy is gone as long as they will let you keep praying keep going the enemy has to go and if the enemy gets used to you you know this is not scripture okay this next part like the enemy gets used to you it's not sticking around so he's like i'm just gonna wait him out well he's got to go the enemy has to go jesus paid with the stripes on his body for your healing and for those other people's healings. And it doesn't matter what they think, what they feel, the the thought processes that are going on. Like, Jesus says to love others as you would have them love you. And if somebody's walking around and wanted healing, or if I needed healing, and somebody came along and said, hey, I want to pray and for your healing, um, then, like, you would want them to do it, right? And so... We can go and we take authority over that evil sickness and that pain and the unhealingness of it all. And we command it to go in the name of Jesus. We take authority over it. We serve our brothers and sisters. We love Jesus and serve him. And, and we command that sickness to go in Jesus' name. And it's got to go. So um, just keep, keep on keeping on, you know. Just don't give up. Never give up, okay? Uh, so, let's go take take back the territory from the enemy. All right? Let's do it. It's going to be awesome. Jesus is with us to the end of the age. And he's performing miraculous signs with us as we go. Okay? So, I decided to come out here to Clyde Warren Park and uh, to pray for some people. And uh, I'm gonna walk over here to the light. And um, I was like, I'm taken back from the enemy. The enemy is stealing stuff and killing, destroying. And I'm like, here we go. So I just ran into a lady named Sarita. She's actually on the other side. Let's see if we can see her. Uh, you, maybe if I am able to brighten this up later, we can see her. But she's over there, prayed for her back. And immediately the pain went away. It was like gone. And it was like she walked across the way to just like see me, it was wild. And um, she said, are you having fun? I'm like, yeah. And I asked her if, if I could pray for, pray for her, any pain in her body. And she reaches over her back, she's like, I got pain on my back right now. Prayed for it and went away. And, um, and then I was like, do you know Jesus? She's like, no, not really. I was like, would you like to know him? Can I tell you about him? So I share the gospel with her. And she's like, whoa. 
Yeah, but she didn't trust in Jesus right there. But at the end, and it was interesting. I reminded of the the woman at the at the well. She was like, I'm I'm so concerned about the children down there, and the church is not. Um, like the religious people not doing anything and the, the just the craziness. I said, you know, I, I don't know about all that, but I, I know I was down there yesterday. I, well, I was. And, um, you know, Jesus came to set the captives free, so let's do it. And, like, we need to believe him and believe all that he's doing. And so um, I just asked her to, I took her hand at the end because she was walking off and or she was about to leave and she just said, I feel so touched right now. And I said, hey, if you think about it later, just ask Jesus to come into your life. He loves you and he's meeting you right here to ask you into a relationship with him. And you can have that relationship with him because he loves you. And um, so it was pretty cool. So here we go, I'm gonna keep going. Taking back the kingdom, the kingdom of God is here.